Now Dalsgaard trying to set Ollie Watkins away. Watkins, lovely first touch. Ollie Watkins, was there a foul in there? The referee says no. He is adamant he was caught. John Brooks says no. Now the conditions again. And it's a wonderful first touch from Watkins, and he's going through. I think, I think QPR have been very, very fortunate there. Because there is a coming together, it doesn't matter whether it's on purpose or not. Watkins is not going to go down in this situation unless he's brought down. It just seems to be Cameron's right foot. It does bring him down. The assistant referee is in a great position. The referee, John Brooks, is as well. Ollie Watkins managed just to get away from the Queen's Park Rangers back line. And a simple ball over the top. That's Jensen. There's De Silva. And a spin and turn. And Shot from Ollie Watkins, took a touch on the way through, and it will be a corner. It's just so alert from Watkins when the ball comes in. And I think one of the things that everybody at Brentford has been so impressed with is the amount of goals that Watkins has got in and around this area, and it's how he makes space for himself. You can already see in this game he's going to be a real threat. Abire Eze. Manning delivering this time, and Raya had to react from Pontus Janssen's header. Stadium, which came... God's touch, and Bermo trying to get involved on the far side. And Bermo looking to win the duel, that he's dragged down and gets the free kick. Manning thought it should have gone his way. It's brilliant initially from Ben Rama, who comes in field, plays the ball forward. And you think QPR cleared the danger, and Bermo, he doesn't give it up. And as you can see, he's brought down by Manning. It's a free kick in a very promising position, which will see both Janssen and Pinnock coming forward. Josh De Silva and Matthias Jensen having a look at this. Will it be the left foot of De Silva to deliver? He leaves it. Jensen goes in low. Looking for Ben Rama. Perfection! In the game, which means the most, the game they dare not lose. Brentford seize control at Griffin Park. Well, from the training ground to the stadium, this is absolutely perfect. The pace on the ball that's played in by Jensen, and then it's wonderful from Ben Rama, but Naki Wells, he looks straight at the ground. He knows that he's responsible because he switches off, but Brentford take full advantage of it. You just see Wells, he's not aware that Ben Rama's coming around the outside of him, and it's a wonderful finish that gives Lumley absolutely no chance whatsoever. And you can see from Thomas Frank's reaction, he knows they've worked hard on the training ground and sometimes what you work on in the training ground comes to fruition on the match day. Paul looking for a little bit of movement ahead of him. Kane. And the experience goes straight to Norgard who tries to set Mbermo away. And Burma trying to pounce! London derby is going the way of Brentford, the final league encounter on this patch of land, and it couldn't be going any better for the men in the stripes. Oh, what an opening, 22 minutes for Brentford, but well, once again it's the conditions, Lumley doesn't get enough on it, and QPR they're not able to get out, the ball comes back, it's a difficult one for Cameron because of the conditions, you see he does get no way near enough distance, QPR are pushing out, therefore the defence is caught out, and it is a wonderful finish from Mbermo. It's this look now, after Cameron heads it up in the air, he has a little look at where the goalkeeper is, and he just has a presence of mind to put a beautiful finish into the far corner, and Lumley can do nothing about it. The 20-year-old writes his name all over this West London derby. Brentford on the move again, it's Mbermo again. Time to spin and turn, the silver, and Watkins couldn't apply the finishing touch. It was almost three. Wow. I'm showing the replay here, but what's amazing is Brentford, they went then straight away to try and take the quick corner, but once again, this should be 3-0, it's a vital touch, I think it's from Cameron. 
which diverts it away from Watkins. The Ealing Road Terrace urging a third here for their team. Janssen makes his move now. Off the head of Abirieze, that's Dalsgaard. Lifted in towards Pinnock. The pressure building. Oh, yeah, once again, it's another great ball in. And it's the slightest touch. I mean, it's actually from ball. Sorry, from Amos, which just sends it wide. Oh, Pinnock ended up in the back of the net, but the ball didn't. Move short to Ben Rama. Space here for the silver on his left foot. The silver straight at Lumley. to the right-hand side of that midfield three. He started on the left, he is left-footed. Norgaard. And Burma will pick up. And Burmo's ball back. Didn't quite reach Ben Rama. There's the silver again. Jensen. He's picked out Rico Henry! The flag was up. Managed to get a touch on that. And Decisive touch for Queen's Park Rangers, otherwise Lumley could have been in trouble again. This time Hall with the touch, but the play has been pulled back for a free kick to Brentford for a foul on Ben Rama. They have players spread out all across the penalty area here, Brentford. What's in the mind of Matthias Jensen? Drifted in towards Ethan Pinnock! There is the third! Ollie Watkins went flying at it, he's claiming it! This is what Brentford do when they are in this kind of mood. They are unstoppable. And it's another brilliant set piece, and the man of the moment, Watkins. Well, you're going to score a few goals. And as sure as eggs are eggs, he's going to be a man that's going to get you one of those goals. But what they do, and they start it really well. They start it really well. They keep the width. So because they keep the width, it gives them a run up. Pinnock, not that he needs a run up but he has that and he gets there first and Watkins as we've said previously he is getting so many goals from in and around the six yard box and that's an attacker's instinct and that is why he is now joint top goal scorer in the championship goal scorer's instinct Amos took a heavy touch, but managed to get out of a tight spot. Well, Dalsgaard comes in, makes the challenge. The referee jogs away from the incident. It's brilliant positioning from Dalsgaard because he sees his centre-back partner, Janssen. He's out of the equation. He's had to come out, and it is a wonderful challenge. That's what you want to see from your fullback when you see... Better than they dreamed of. Brentford have taken Queen's Park Rangers apart in the first half at Griffin Park. The first goal from Saeed Ben Rama. A beautifully created free kick, lovely touch from Burma made it two, and then Ollie Watkins flinging himself at the ball, headed home number three. At the break, Brentford three, Queen's Park Rangers nil. And Brentford looking to start this half on the front foot, that's the silver on the far side of the pitch. As David Prutton mentioned, the pitch was watered at half-time, only one half was watered. <laughs> ben Rama with the turn, then went down belatedly, but he has got the free kick. And the yellow card coming out for Grant Hall. Yeah, it's great play from Ben Rama, but like, yeah, as you've quite rightly said, it's because they want to pass the ball really quickly. They only watered the, the half in which Brentford are going to be attacking in, and it's because they want to be able to do more of that. And the wetter the pitch is, the slicker the pitch is, the quicker it'll move. It's Ben Rama! Into the side netting. The referee has seen it and played the advantage. Ben Rama tearing forward here for Brentford. Then Ben Rama goes down, caught by Kane. And the card will come out for Todd Kane. Another Brentford free kick, which is what they have. Matt Robertson will back his team to outscore the opposition, but today they've got a huge amount of work to do to pull it back. It's a say Samuel, and they've got one back. The key wells pouncing. He is, he's all over the place. And he is again, commits the foul this time. His first duty will be defensive duty. 
De Silva leaves it to Jensen. Hammer Makocha was the man that they had in mind to fill the boot of Ryan Woods. The way they work at Brentford. Jordan Hugo. I say Samuel. They still have a chance. Manning into that near post and Raya gets to it. It might not look it, but this is a great save. They work it really well, and Manning puts a great ball in. And it says they were the touch, but the reaction from Raya is absolutely magnificent. He makes it look simple, so therefore the save doesn't actually look as good as what it is. And then he gets on top of it, but there ain't no doubts about it. That's an outstanding save. This is the final time that these two will meet on this patch of land in the league. They could still meet in the cup, they could still maybe meet in the playoffs. Ben Rama making mischief, Oli Watkins! And it drops onto the roof of the net. It's a brilliant effort, but it's wonderful play from Ben Rama. He does the hard work, and he picks a wonderful ball. It's a great run from Watkins as well. And he just can't get enough over the ball to get it back on target and under the crossbar. A wonderful play from Ben Rama. And like I say, good effort from Watkins. Ben Rama. Takes that corner kick. The shot towards the far post. And it was Zoli Watkins again on the scene, but he couldn't convert. <sighs> Not this time, but it was another set piece. in West London has gone Brentford's way. They are the power in the west of London today.